Hey guys, um, I want to talk about efficiency and inefficiency of uh, order block of an order block. Um, so basically, efficiency of an order block is when, let's say, we have an order block, then that order block has been respected. All right. Then if we have like uh, in an uptrend, we have higher highs, higher lows. Then we have empty spaces. We have order blocks that have not been mitigated. Those order blocks are what those are uh, uh, inefficient order blocks, and these order blocks tend to fill up um in the future. So. Uh, on my screen right here, you can see, I just saw this here and I decided to record this video because uh, I'd like to share with you. There is some, there, we are in an uptrend right now. You see the market going up in an uptrend. Then we had a break of structure here. Let me, let me zoom in on this so you guys can see exactly. Okay. You can see that here we had a break of structure, right? To the upside. Bam. Then we had our imbalance. This blue um, box you see here is a fair value gap. This is the imbalance that I just highlighted. So we have a fair value gap there. Then we have another block perfectly aligned, all the rules met. Then you can see that this market weak inside this other block, like inside the midpoint of this other block. So this other block is considered efficient. So we close up this chapter here. We are not looking at this area again because it's filled, all right? So now this price leg has been filled. What about this price leg here that took our structure again to the upside? Do we have another block here? Yes, we have another block. This is another block. This black candle here is another block. But the, the, the fair value gap here is very, very tight very, very slim that I will not consider this um, valid order block for me. I will not take this because the, the, the imbalance there is not really, you know, like that prominent. It's not there. I don't really see it. You can see the market fill this area as well. So if there was, if in case there was any um, unmitigated uh, uh, fair value gap here, the market has filled it already. So we don't have any business with this area anymore. So what we are left with is this one. So basically you're just breaking down the chart and you're canceling areas in the market. You see, so here we had another break of structure. All right. Um, now we have a fair value gap and we have our order block perfectly aligned. Let me take this out so you can see the fair value gap. This is what a fair value gap is. Imbalance. You see this candle here, this, uh, the, the, the high of this candle, this last candle and the low of this third candle. They don't touch each other. There's space. All right. This week and this week here, you see this gap here. That's what we refer to as imbalance and fair value gap. So right now, I'll just put this box here to, you know, um, remind myself that uh, there's imbalance here and the market must fall down and feel this imbalance. I don't know when, I don't know, you know, I don't know when exactly, but I know that it's going to feel this imbalance here. And there are two things involved. It's either the market comes and bounces off this, my, my order block here and go or breaks it to the downside. So this morning when I woke up, I saw this um, um, area here. I was on the five minute time frame. I was too zoomed in. Then I had a change of character here. Then I like, okay, I called this trade and I sent it in my, um, in my private group. So all of my members took this trade. But now when I, when I, when I zoomed out on the 15 minute, I saw, I noticed that the change of character should have happened down here, not up here. You see, because this is a swing point. This is a swing low here. So this market should have, um, you know, changed character here before me taking this trade. So I realized that, okay, I've made a mistake, but we are already in this trade. So I'm like, okay, it's either we lose or we win. So that's it. We've been in drawdown for some time. Uh, as I started recording this video, you see the market dropping there. But I'm not really confident in this particular trade, so I don't know if I should just break even. But uh, like I said, I stick to my rules. I just keep the trade there. If it's a losing trade, whatever it is, I have uh, realized my mistake and I'm making this video to you know uh, remind myself that that's exactly what I did wrong. So I would have actually wanted this. This market should have broken this level here, uh, changed character here before I sell, all right? But now it did not do that. Instead, it just like um, mitigated maybe an order block that was here. Then, you know, those imbalance. If you look here, you see this imbalance. So the market actually came here to fill this space and go up. So this market is still bullish, but I made a mistake and I, you know, consider I instead like took my change of character here because I was too zoomed in on the five minute. So this uh, trade right here is not a high probability trade. Okay. So what I'm looking out now, what I'm looking for now is uh, I'm looking that the market should break this high. If the market stops us out of this trade and breaks these highs, then we have another block down here. You can see there's imbalance all the way from here and here there's imbalance. This gap here also there's imbalance. So if the market comes and mitigates this other block, I'm looking that the market should buy because it has broken structure. But if the market does not break structure, if this trade works out, therefore this, uh, this trade here is invalid. We're not buying anything here. We we'll only buy if this structure breaks to the upside, remember. Okay, but if this market comes and breaks this low here, then we should look for sales, right? And if this level, if I'm giving all the probabilities that I'm looking out for, okay? So if the market took, if this market here breaks structure, I'm buying here. 
Okay, if it does not break structure, I'm not buying here. However, this market pulls all the way down here, I'm still buying here because this area here is inefficient. All right, it's inefficient. Price has not filled it yet. Price still has, uh, uh, this price still owes this place here. All right, this market has come and mitigate this, this pay value gap here before this market, this market goes up. So I'm still looking to buy here. So if you're watching this thing, you can go and break, up, break down your charts, do your own analysis, and maybe uh, yours might be the same. It's mine. So that's uh, that's it about inefficiency. I just told you about inefficiency. You know, uh, price uh, uh, enters a other block, mitigates it. Uh, the, the, the other blocks that have been left unmitigated, you just need to be aware that whatever you're doing, just have it behind your mind that price will come back there to mitigate that area. So thanks for watching. Um, consider subscribing. I have of some videos that I've made on this concept. So you can watch them down below. And if you want a link or you want access to my private group, you can message me with the link down below. It's $50 per month. Let me just say it here and there. All right. Thanks for watching.